Hey guys, so today um, I am going to be showing you how I make my cornbread dressing. No, it's not Thanksgiving. However, every now and then I like to make cornbread dressing. I just love cornbread dressing and I feel like you don't have to wait all the way until Thanksgiving or Christmas to enjoy dressing. Uh, in advance, of course, my kids are up, so if you hear talking um, and so forth or crying while I'm talking, then um, y'all know I am a mom. So mom is first, you two the second. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all all the ingredients that I use, and then I'll just show you what I do. Um, the rest of the video will be just silent uh, with music, or well, music, but me not talking. Um, because some things are just kind of common sense. And then once I get to mixing everything, I think that's when I'll come back on and start talking. So I'm gonna talk about this stuff that I use to make my cornbread dressing. And then I won't show you the cornbread part because everybody wanna makes cornbread. You just follow the box and that's it. Or if you make it from scratch, you know, whatever. You just make your cornbread. So let's go ahead and get into what all I use and then I'll start making my, my stuff here. So you're gonna need a long pan, of course. You're gonna need some type of cornbread mix. Uh, this is what I had in the cabinet because I was planning on just cooking this cornbread. However, when I normally make my cornbread dressing, I use Jiffy. Um, and uh, this one here is honey butter cornbread mixed by Zatarans. I love this cornbread when I'm just eating cornbread. But as far as dressing, this is my first time making it with this, okay? And you just follow the recipe. This one calls for a half a cup of milk, six tablespoons of butter, and one egg. I already have my oven preheated as well for 375, so that way I can go ahead and cook my cornbread first. In order to make dressing, you need to make your cornbread first. You have to cook it. Now, no. The next thing that you're gonna need is dressing mix. Um, I'm gonna do a close up on this one here. Okay, so it's called Real Cajun Savoy's Dressing Mix. My mom been using this for years, so I, of course, I'm using it. Um, it says for Miss Eula Savoy's favorite Cajun recipes, visit our website www.savoysfoods.com. The dressing mix ingredients goes on and on. Basically, everything that you put fresh in your dressing. So it has the pork, it has water, of course, chicken, gizzards, pork liver, um, onions. Um, what else? Onion powder, peppers, bell pepper. Um, it has a little roux in it. Salt, spices. Um, and on and on and on and on. Um, so this product here, yeah, so uh, this is from uh, Opelousas, Louisiana. So if you're in Opelousas, Louisiana, I know that you know what this is. <laughs> but anyway, uh, a lot of people though, do they do their stuff fresh, get their gizzards, get all of their, you know, stuff and cut it up. Um, this is the quick way. This is called, you have kids, you have a life, you have to get it done. Enough about that. Also, you're gonna need either cream of chicken, cream of mushroom. When I make a big batch, like for Thanksgiving, I use cream of mushroom and cream of chicken. Right now, I'm using what I have on hand, okay? You know one of those meals when you're trying to cook and you're like, oh my gosh, do I have everything? That's what it is. So, I didn't plan on making a cornbread dressing, but I forgot that I had my stuff in there. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make that. So originally, I wasn't gonna make cornbread dressing. So I did have a can of cream of chicken, so I'm going to use it. Um, However, like I mentioned, normally I use cream of mushroom and cream of chicken, okay? So I'm gonna use one of these, and then to make it stretch and kind of um, water down a little bit, I'm gonna use some chicken broth. This is just the HEB brand chicken broth, nothing expensive needed. I always try and keep a jug or a case or something to kind of broth, just in case, you just never know what you're cooking. You can use this with anything, y'all know what broth is. So I'm gonna use this when I get ready to mix my um, dressing mix with my cornbread, okay? So this is gonna help mush it back up. You're also gonna need your onion, bell pepper, celery. Now, I always buy the season blend. If I'm cooking something that needs like large onions, large bell pepper, something like that, or I wanna 
go all out, yeah, I'm about to fresh. However, let me tell you, like I said, I am a mom first, and I have kids, and they have needs, and I have to get to them quickly, which means I don't have time to cut up small onion, bell pepper, and all this stuff like that as of right now. Um, sometimes I do buy it when I have time, and I cut it up, and then I freeze it. So don't get me wrong, sometimes I do have that time on me. However, today is not the day, and frozen. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is sugar. Now, what I mean by sugar, this cornbread is already pretty sweet, so I doubt that I'm going to put even more than three tablespoons of sugar. Now, if I was using Jiffy, then I would probably put maybe a half a cup of sugar in there because we like our cornbread dressing sweet. So if you do not like sweet cornbread dressing, don't add sugar um, and don't get this because this is very sweet too. Um, however, the cornbread dressing I'm making, I make sweet. Um, if you're gonna follow the directions that I'm doing or try the one that I make, you wanna add sugar to cornbread that doesn't have anything sweet in it. If you use Jiffy, add, you know, add your half a cup of sugar. Um, if you don't, if you're using this kind here, I would advise maybe one to two tablespoons. Maybe, maybe. And it's just H-E-B sugar, it's sugar. Who needs name brand sugar for what? Um, so anyway, um, you will need oil to oil the pan, of course, um, for your cornbread. Um, you will need oil to put in your pan to start your dressing mix, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and prepare my cornbread. Y'all know how to make cornbread, so I'm going to come back to the cornbread when um, it's done. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my stove. I'm going to set it up between... Um, low medium um, to medium depend on how your you know how your stove is but anyway you want enough where it is cooking it but not burning it if that makes sense so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little oil to my pan and I would say maybe about one tablespoon to one tablespoon and a half or you know tablespoon and a teaspoon maybe something like that I just eyeball everything, so I'm gonna let that get hot. While that's getting hot, I'm gonna go over here and finish preparing my brownies. All right, guys. So my oil is pretty hot. So this part here, you want to be a little careful because, of course, you're putting frozen into oil. Water going into oil can cause a situation. <laughs> so anyway. See, there's an onion peel in here. That's how you know it's fresh. <laughs> That's how I see it anyway. So now, as you can see, there's like a little leafy vegetable in here. I'm not sure what that is, but it's some kind of leafy vegetable, but we will leave that in there. Another little onion peel. I'd rather see onion peels and rats and mice <laughs> in my food, so. All right, so as you can see, my uh, vegetables are wilted down. Has a little browning to it as well, which I like. But now, this comes frozen. I did defrost it, that way I can, you know, cook it. Um, but normally, if you if it's frozen, you can still cook it that way. You just have to, you know, let it cook it down and then chop it up, cook down, and then separate it. But anyway, it opens up like this. You pull all the little levels up, and then when you open it up, it looks like this. Okay, and it smells so good, y'all. Like it's all seasoned and everything. Can y'all see that? Okay, so what we do is we just dump this in. Just like that. Pretty deep container, gives you a lot. Um, if you're using more than one box of uh, Zatarans, I would use two of these. I'm only using one box and a small one, so I'm not gonna use but one. Um, so of course I'm gonna keep that container, which I have a bunch of, and I use that for anything to store their little, uh, you know, sausage in, anything. So I'm gonna chop this up. 
over my vegetables. I also use this same dressing mix for my rice dressing. Okay, so all you're gonna do is just kind of give it a little, little uh, stir. It's been sitting here for a minute. Okay, guys, so <clears throat> as before, as I mentioned, you wanna cook it down until it's almost, the liquid is almost gone. All right, so as you can see, I have no more of the liquid. It's all of the meat cooked to perfection. All right, guys, so we're back where we started, and damn. Back where we started. Okay, so what I did was I cut my cornbread into squares, just, you know, cut it up. That way it'll make it easier for me to get it out of there and put into my bowl for this. Um, I used my same pan that I used my cornbread in, excuse me, that I've used my cornbread that I'm gonna put my cornbread dressing. So that's why that way you have one pan to dirty. I my spatula and I'm gonna go ahead and put my cornbread into my bowl. And my thing is the, the longer the cornbread cooks the better. Um, it just mixes better. So I'll say make sure it's cooked really good all the way. You can even brown it a little bit. So as you can see, I'm just putting my cornbread and it's coming out easily because of course, you know, we put the oil at the bottom so it's kind of just falling in. See? So, get all that good. And you're gonna have like a little crumb situation. You leave that in there because it's gonna be all one thing. Levi, no. As I can say, I'm being a mama first. No, no. So this is how it looks in my bowl. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and dump my uh, dressing mix in the here. Uh -uh, sit down. So I'm gonna dump my dressing mix in here. All that goodness. Save your pan, don't rinse it out yet because you can definitely put some of the broth in there to get some of that flavor and get everything out of there to put in here. So don't rinse your pot out just yet. Okay, I rinse the top of my can, which you wanna always do. You don't want nothing to fall into your stuff. And again, this is cream of chicken. Again, you can use cream of mushroom. I've never used anything other than cream of mushroom and cream of chicken. So, I don't know about the cream of celery and all of that other stuff. And there it went. <laughs> There's still a little bit in there. We don't wanna waste anything, so let me get a little spoon. all of that goodness. You don't wanna waste nothing. Look at all that, look, see? All that you could have been missing. So now we have our mixture. We have our dressing mix, we have our cornbread, we have our cream of chicken or cream of mushroom, whatever you decide to use. And now we're gonna mix. I'm gonna use a different spoon. This one here is not my stiffest spoon. Let's see, I think it's... Yeah. So I'm gonna use my stiffer spoon because it can get a little extra while mixing. So I'm gonna bring y'all along to show y'all how I mix my stuff and then we'll go from there. So now we're gonna take our broth, shake it up. 
The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pan that we had our stuff in, and we're gonna just put the stuff in here, okay? Just a little bit. Like I said, this is all just eyeballing everything. Um, I never had measurements because I wasn't taught um, with measurements. I was taught about, you know, with eyeballing. So we're gonna get all that goodness, and as you can see, you can kind of see how it's all accumulating in there. And we're gonna add that to our, oh, right. We have, have a little bit more we can get. And sometimes I'll put it back on the stove and let it cook. And that way, you know, I'm getting all of that goodness out of there. Okay, so I'm gonna pour that in there. Okay. <clears throat> so now we're gonna continue to mix. Okay, so I believe that is enough. So now I'm gonna put it back in my pan. Now, normally, like I said, I normally make a lot, therefore um, it's not gonna be a huge, thick cornbread um, dressing. It's gonna be, you know, thin, but enough for filling and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove my spatula, okay? And I'm gonna pour it into my pan. So let me show y'all. So again, this is the pan that I use. Can y'all see that? And so I'm going to pour it in my pan. And I think I could maybe use a little bit more. Mm, let me see. I'm gonna do a little bit more broth. There we go, just a little bit. There we go. Just a little bit more. I, I like my consistency to be smooth and it started getting a little <clears throat> thick on me, so there we go. All right, so now let's go ahead and pour. <laughs> like I said, you have to eyeball it, you know, or whatnot, but yeah. You are gonna have some pieces of cornbread that's still, you know, clump, but that's gonna be good when you bite into just that piece of cornbread. You know, it's just gonna add to it. And we want all of this goodness, all of this goodness. Not one Smells so good. So I'm gonna pop this bad boy in the oven, and like I said, I put it on 350, and um, I probably leave it in there for maybe uh, I would say maybe about maybe 40. 40 to 45 minutes because it's so thin. If you had a thicker one, I would definitely say over an hour. Um, but again, it's all to your taste. So I'm gonna cook it enough to where it's cooked but not burnt. <laughs> um, and cook it enough to where, because it's really thin, I didn't make a really big one. So because it's thin, I'm not gonna cook it that long, okay? All right guys, I'll come back with the finished product. All right guys, so there you have it, it's all done. As you can see, it's all golden. It's a little, got a little uh, hardness to the top. And there you have it. Can y'all see that goodness? Mmm, still smoking. So yeah, it's not time to eat yet, so I'm gonna put that back. <laughs> but you can kind of see the consistency right here. It's cooked. Can you see that? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. That tastes good. So anyway, of course it's thinner because like, like I said, I spread it a little thinner. However, um, whenever you um, make one and you make more, it'll be thicker. And um, yeah. So that is my cornbread dressing. Hope y'all enjoy the video. If y'all have anything else that y'all have seen me cook before or that y'all know of that y'all would like me to cook, let me know and I will do so. Toodles. Ah.